you know, you know, folks, me and Bugsy used to be, we used, before the boss, like, did his own thing, well, he used to still do his own thing, me and Bugsy used to be the dudes that were a part of this channel, the, uh, you could say longest. You could say, you could say the, you know, the guys and, the guys and I were always, we're always there, you know? And Bugsy, Bugsy saw like all the videos about like the, the residents playing and, now, look, me and the guys, we, we help the role players out. And they're our friends, but we do our own little adventures, and heck, when Draconis came back, I was like, ooh, something where, something where I can actually help and do more. And trust me, I don't, it's not like I don't do more when I'm, like, with the guy, with the rest of the guy, with the rest of the coalition. It's just, you know, like, you do, know, it's, it's hard it's hard to really show how unique you are when, when, um, you know, the one other person that is, like, the closest thing to you says that you're, you know, says that you're, you know, you're weaker. When there is, where there, where I've done, like, literal, literal feats that could put Omni-Man, Superman, and Goku to shame. You know, and I'm not mad at I'm not mad at Ben for that one. It's just like I gotta miss just being the dude that comes in and just helps out. And drug me. Drug me. I love everybody in the roleplay coalition. Even even now while everybody's fighting again over something, I'm just like I you know, I came back from the bleeding moon and I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna just relax. Dubs didn't even try to get try to get me up off the couch, but I do know she knows <laughs> that I left for a bit. So there's that. But you know, I just been chilling on the couch, and I just wanna say. I just been chilling today. That's all I've been really doing. That's all I've been really doing. I came home after dealing with Draconis and I just chilled. I don't know where Raph is, but I I assume Raph is like somewhere. Motherfucker, motherfucker's out, so he's probably thinking of how to get me, and I'm just like. Psh. And, you know, and when you're me, you know that there's going to be a bunch of villains after you. The hell, you you expect it. Because there's so many people want a piece of you. Trust me, I'm not an axiom bound like my friend Ben. Me and him probably do have different experiences, but I feel like our powers are basically the same. But not the point. The point is... The point is, like, today, I just been through the ringer. The, in, the absolute ringer. And, uh, you know, got this hot to Bubsy. And, uh, we, you know, Bubsy was in a coma. I was trying to reach him and trying to get him to wake up. Then when I left back, back home, because the Zeta, because the Zeta Omniverse is my home, technically. I mean, even the tower versus merch with it, so I'm just like, yeah, okay, guess we're th guess it's a thing now. The higher havens is still cloaked from everybody because honestly, as much as I love everybody, I am not gonna I am not gonna have my people tangled up in every like little conflict we all have. It's just I don't want to do that, and you know I'm a king, so I gotta I gotta think about what's best for my subjects. And, 
And I don't want any of the crazy bureaucrat motherfuckers that are in my um, in my society to be like, you only care about you only care about your wives and double and double who is clearly a human. Yeah, done. Like trust me, every time every time I go back to the higher havens, every but every chaos lord has something to say about me. Be you know. Being with a human. It's it's a lot of shit. Let's just say let's just say Chaos Lords are able to marry other species, but you know, there is a stigma between humans and and Chaos Lords because Chaos Lords because Chaos Lords who aren't the Royal Kuro family because there are other royal families other than us. And they hate humans. They think the fact that I am with they think they hate the fact that I'm with one as an offense, but since I'm the king, they can't really do anything about it. And every time uh, an assassin comes over, I just literally just beat the assassin up and then beat the other royal family up, and I just say, Did, "You don't even understand how powerful I truly am." So why you sitting here sitting out? You know, you know what? And I just take his arm. I take I take the person's arm. I I just do it. I know some people were like, Bugsy, you didn't have to take the man's arm. I'm like, buddy, trust me. He needed me to take his arm. I'm just like, Jesus. People are insane. My people, my people are awesome because some of them are just cool. But when you're dealing with the other royal families and they still call me what they've called me since I was a child. Artemis is Brad. Artemis being my father. Because they always see they always see me and my brothers as just when I am rich and hops, they just see us as idealistic. And you know, I'm the king, so I try to look for peaceful solutions before I start beating motherfuckers up. I know it doesn't seem like that all the time with me. Always ready to fight somebody, but you know, doubles in danger. I'm gonna fucking fight. Fuck the dumb shit. Because you're, because you, because you lit, because you're in, because when she's when doubles in his female form, you're in leave. She, shut up, I'm talking about. <laughs> what? It's true. You know you're a, you're a dick. Hey, this is a, oh wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Do I got the right one? Because that tells me I got the wrong. I got the wrong one. Let me just pop the right one in. You sure that's the right one? I think. I'm not entirely sure. We really need to label those. I'll be on. I'll do. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, we. Yeah, we need to do it. Yeah, we need to do it later. Bam, 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 bam. Saturday Night Slam Masters? Don't mind if I do. So, Bugsy. About Bubsy, about Bubsy for real. Did you really mean what you said to him? Yeah. Other than Superman, you know. Bubsy was actually there for, there for me sometimes when we were all doing our own thing. And I gotta be Hagar. What? Of course you gotta be Hagar. I just gotta be Hagar, man. I got to be. I got it. We don't know if he's dead or not in Street Fighter 6, and I, I just. I just wanna be Hagar, motherfucker. Can I be Hagar? Did Sorry Night Slam Masters ever get like a port? 
you know, a recent port, like a, like a recent console port. Uh, you know what? I think they're in that, um, uh, Capcom, uh, Mega Collection thing, you know. The one that's free, but then you gotta buy the whole pack and shit, you know that. I just never really, okay, shit. <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to remember how to pin with this with this controller. I'm gonna pin this motherfucker. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Love this game. Is that uh, Hagar's kid from um, Final Fight? Yep. So Gunlock is actually like Guile's like cousin. No, they're related somehow, but they never said that he that they're related. I mean, they never said that they were. Uh, cousins and uh, we don't know his real relation with uh, Guile. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, it is. Like, what about um, what about Rival Schools? They, technically, Rival Schools is like in its own fucking like universe, I believe. Really. You know, why can't we get another Darkstalkers game? I've been saying that shit for years, man. Probably in the Mirai universe, there is a Darkstalkers game coming out. It, probably Dirk and Davis is like getting Capcom off their fucking asses and actually having them do something in that universe. Just, just wish we could have that. Wish we could have our own Dirk and Davis and, uh, and, in our universe. Oh. We did. At one point. But, uh. The boss moved them. To the Mirai universe. Where they could do a little bit more good. With the creativity and shit. Crap. Get up. Get up. Get up. Agar. Agar. No. Fuck this mother. Oh. Fuck. Hey. Don't go. No call the mirror. Don't call the mayor fucking Bubba, you fucking bitch. But like, let me tell you, look, well, let me tell you, dude. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is that, yeah. You know what really like sucks though. So if Draconis, so if Draconis, right, is still around, like if he disappeared, where do you think he went? I don't know. He could be anywhere, technically. I don't have a real pickup of where he is. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's like he... It's like his... Like, even with my regular heightened senses, I can't really feel him anywhere. And it didn't seem like any kind of soul left his body, either. So, when I use the power of the green sun to kill him, I don't know, maybe he disintegrated, I'm not sure, but, like, I would know if he fucking, like, bit it. I would have known if his soul would have left his body. So, it's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. You know, I don't know. Like, it, like, it, like, anything could be, oh, shit. <sighs> Anyways, like I said, so I don't know. Mm, well, either way, man, I, I believe that you did a good thing today. Mm -hmm.
I'm glad. I'm glad you said that, man. <sighs> I needed. Honestly, I needed this adventure. I needed. I needed to just. I needed to literally just do something that didn't involve me thinking about setup. Still thinking about setup. I'm still thinking. You know, you know, you know, man, I just, I just needed a distraction and caring about the others. I needed what I needed more of, and I'm glad. Yeah, I hear ya. We all need some distraction. I, I don't think it's I, I really don't think it's particularly healthy for you to just bounce like that. But as long as you're okay, I got then I got no issues. I know, bro. Uh, but I'm glad that you understand. Well, at least I do understand because I know you, and I know how I know how you are, and I know how you think, and I know. That you wouldn't just other abandon people unless... Oh, shit. Clippy. Get the fuck out of here, Clippy. Get out of here with your bullshit, Clippy. You fuck... <laughs> fucking dumbass. Fucking... Just clip. You know, it'd be cool. You know, it'd be cool about this little... This little demonstration. And that the internet actually worked. Dude... How do you feel listening to the dial-up? <laughs> Pretty old, dude. Pretty old. Oh, your base belong to us. Hey, can we look at... You know, we should look at some visualizers real quick. Yeah, Bugsy, that's a good idea, actually. How's old doing? I haven't talked to him in a while, but I think he's doing all right, you know. I think he's probably just with Sage. Away from everybody. You know, I have never seen any of the, like, Devil's characters ever. The Devil's ever characters go after, like, all. Oh, uh, because if they go after all, Alt's just going to kill them all. Alt ain't, Alt ain't gonna play with me. Alt doesn't play with nobody. He does not. He does not. I'm not saying he's even more brutal. It's just something I... He's pretty much just what I would do. If I was in his situation. You know, it's kind of weird that, like, you and Alt have the same kind of type. Hey... I mean, let's be honest, there's a lot of I can fix you energy. But he kind of, he didn't really fix her, but he did help her with her problems. That's good. Granny's hot butter ice cream, Bugsy. No! Yes. Turn this up a little bit. Burn, 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 burn. Let, me get, let me turn this up a little bit. I, I need to be able to hear this. Oh, yeah. Dude, do you even know? Can't even grow. Do you even fucking know? <laughs> so, other than that, I mean, that just means you're part of like the Chaos Portal comic continuity, aren't you? I guess now, yeah. Weird. 
feels kind of nice. I even got to see Strong Man fighting shadow creatures. They, Strong Man was there? Yeah, Strong Man was there. He was, we were all, at the end of the, at the end of the arc, we were all singing, smile, darn you, smile, freaking, freaking Strong Man. Strong Man, Strong Man shit. Like, are you lying? No, I'm not, bro. I'm so, like, like, seriously. Dead, dead Entropicus, I am telling you the truth. Dead Entropicus? The deadest. Oh my god, I wish I was there. That would have been so funny. Just, he was in it. He was just going, he was just in it. He was in every note. I was like, oh my god. And here in the Vidora scream, Oh God, why? Just a loud scream while he cradles Bubsy's body. It reminded me of you if something ever happened to you. You know I'm not in the world, man. I know. But sometimes, you know, I worry about all this danger I'm putting you back in. You know? I mean, I know you're going to help me regardless, but I, I just feel like when I... I feel like when I literally put you in these situations again, like there could be a there could be a chance that you die, and I'll just blame myself for it. Finally, I know the risk coming back. Like you acting like I don't. Like you acting like I don't know. Like I'm brand new. Like one of the, like one of the role, like one of the role players that don't know the kind of shit we get into. And trust me, I'm not insulting them. It's just like there's a lot that they don't know about you, me, or Chaos Lords in general. But like to be honest, doesn't it make you mad when Ben says like you lo you lower on the rung of power? It does, but, eh, you know, you gotta let that shit go, because at the end of the day, like, Ben's, Ben's only representative of the universe that he's actually in, he's controlled, you know? I'm representative of the universe I, I was in before the Zeta universe had, con, had combined. Do you really care about what the clans say about, like, I just don't get why they want me to be a pinboy. I just don't, I don't understand that shit. I mean, I get it. I, I get it. I got there's a lot of chaos, Lord Beef, I got going on, but uh, yeah, not really, not really keen on wearing a skirt and thigh highs. You know what I'm saying? Says the man that used to be a stripper. You, you had to fucking say that, didn't you? I mean, you, I mean, you, and you were, you were stripping at the phone zone. For at least, for, okay, for at least two years, but I, but I needed the money, okay? I needed the money, okay? It was, it was, we were in dying straits, man. I wasn't gonna, ask, I wasn't gonna ask that for a handout. So, I had to do what I had to do. That the fact that you and Asgard work the pole just makes me laugh. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> to keep to keep us from from keep us you know, keeping us from starving. <laughs> you asshole. I mean Yeah, but I just straight up did, you know. Yeah, I remember. What are you? What are these days? Mom's gonna buy one of your videos that you were in, and you're gonna have to explain to her why you were in there. I, you know, I do, but at least I never had a freaking nickname called Chocolate Chaos. Oh fuck! 
Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, I miss this. Just me and you shooting the shit. Where's Har? What's Har doing? He's jogging. Red out said, like, we do, like, me and you do too much jaw jacking and I don't fighting. I'm like, I don't see me fight because usually fucking Ben pretty much does everything else. I don't have to do anything. I'm just sitting there. Just... I mean, I did get a white bomber, though. Of course you did. Hey, I, hey, I got my revenge on that motherfucker for, for freaking... Dismembering Kuro, which he didn't even have to do, but he's too much. He's too much of a fucking asshole to fucking just be a decent person. Debauchery is what controls his soul. You know what I mean? I'm glad I fucking just destroyed his ass. So I don't want to deal. I don't want to deal with another fucking bomber, man. So you tell Kuro that you're dead, and what did she say? She just said and. Uh. Pico says I shouldn't just, like, you know, expect her to react as that. That Zeto basically injected your DNA inside Black Bomber, guaranteeing her that she'd have a kid. It was only a one-time thing, so that's why Kuro is the only thing, only child of yours and hers because, you know, Black Bomber has a weak you know? And only Chaos Lord DNA is the only reason he was able to Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's probably why that's probably why he's got the fucking that's probably why he's got the fucking sexual libido of one. You know, I can imagine that. I actually can. Hmm. <sighs> So, if that was like right here, right now, I mean, what would you say to her? I'd be like, what the hell, first of all. Like, Seto, I love you, but what the hell? You could have talked to me at any given time, or at least alluded to that you wanted to speak to me, and we could have handled this, and... Fuck, I'd probably, fuck, after that, I'd probably just run in, just run to her, just, just, pick, just hold her and pick her up like I used to, and look into her eyes again. Oh. And did you always feel like that? Yes. Part of me always wanted to, to go back to the way, the way she was, the way we were, but I never really got that. Okay, this rain music is getting a little too uh, weird. It's like bum bum bum, bum bum bum. Look at my boy, bum bum bum. Look at my boy. This is it. Oh. What the fuck was that? I don't know. I guess. I guess we were stuck on the visualizer for way too long, and it just went like. No. See, this is the reason why, even though it's a fun idea, this would probably, like, like, realistically, it probably wouldn't work unless the Genesis had, like, a actual peripheral to make it work. I mean, that's how Zanka Channel worked. True. That, um, we should go back to watch the stupid Mario Brothers in a minute. We will. You know, I don't really understand why the darkness was like, Yes! I'm here just to tell you that Luigi is, you know, when they, when Luigi died, Bowser Jr. tried to freaking, Bowser Jr., Tried to freaking bring Bowser Jr. tried to bring Luigi back to life, and then he became that. I'm like, you're telling, 
It, you know, it was kind of always telegraphed that the, the freaking evil thing they just kept fighting Mario was Luigi. Okay, but seeing, seeing a Dark Knight Rises, uh, you know, Mario was kind of cool. I mean, a little bit, you know, the, the, it tickled the edgelord part of my brain. I feel you. I feel you. You know, it tickled that part of my brain, too. Uh, I just, like, so Luigi dies and, like, Bowser just gets beheaded by Mario. I wanted to see that. I don't need to make a comic out of that. We got comics of the I hate you, Luigi. Just reconciling with Mario. I'm just like, when you think you think Cooper worked alone, I'm just wondering to myself, like, how much is Luigi helping Bowser? And obviously, in that end screen where Mario's looking like real pissed, and Luigi. And uh, Peach's like, oh no! So, does that mean like Peach was in on it too? Like, does that does that really mean that? Or is it just, or is she just freaked out that there's a crispy Luigi's like skeleton? You know? I don't know. I personally think it's just like he helped her get kidnapped and like. And like freaking world and probably uh, lost levels and that's it. But I just think it's kind of dumb because I, you know, because we know there's another universe where that did happen. But it's like, but it's like, you know, it's like just. Ugh. And Mario reconciles with him. I got like Ben and Luigi because I saw that one uh, comic dub where Luigi's like, at least y'all Mario is alive. Like, I can't even see my Mario. I mean, like, is Luigi, like, is Mario really dead? Like, when Luigi just, is like, when Luigi just, like, can't save him. Like, sure, the time, the time limit's gone, but, like, at the end of the day, I mean, he's not dead. Like where did like where does King Boo go technically after that's over? Did they just go back to wherever the fuck Boo's come from? I mean, I mean, he gets uh, that freaking por that portrait portraitizer thing, so he could probably still save you know Mario no matter how. It's not like he's dead. It's not like they imply that he's dead. I looked at Super Tangy and I just sat there and was like, I just hear that, ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, okay, You're trying to be spooky, I see you. I just want to know an extra Tangy, who's the other Luigi? Is he just an illusion by the booze and like, what, like, what, is he an alternate universe? I want to know, who is that other Luigi? I don't know, man. I wish I could tell you. I, bro, I don't even know. Oh, God, we get... Oh, my God, I can see... I can see everything. Yeah, we're in cloak mode. That's so weird. Whoa. Whoa. Even, I even saw like a Brian and Peter version of I Hate You. I'm like, you all thought the chicken worked alone, Peter. And I'm like, what the fuck? What about all the, uh, oh, ah, Je Jesus, I made myself jump. <laughs> of course he did. Uh, because I almost slipped. Bet you did. I hate, I hate the fact. That I slipped and it's like, eh. Ooh. Hit my knees too. But, you know, I feel like, yeah, I'd probably beat all the horror Marios because, quite honestly, they ain't shit.
Power Star Mario is the only one I would actually want to fight. Mr. Hell, I could just be like, purified motherfucker. Where he just deals with his own shit. Um, Mr. Video, he's dying. The freaking GV one, he's, that one's dying too. M, M, yeah, the one from the Mario port. Oh, that motherfucker's getting tortured by me the exact same way he did to that little kid. He's just getting, he's getting fucked with. And I'm gonna do it for like three hours and I'm gonna be like, this? How's it feel being on the other, being on the receiving end of this? Ain't good, is it? Then I rip his head off and do, and just have it, and have him in a time loop where it just happens to him over and over again. For all eternity. What about Mr. Video? Oh, that red and white motherfucker? Like, that red and black motherfucker? I'm just gonna, like, mm. <clears throat> You're just gonna rip his heart out? Yeah. <laughs> what if he has, like, what if it's, like, uh, he's in Mario Clash, so what if he just has intimate lives? I can just do it again, repeatedly and repeatedly, over and over again. Nah, I don't fucking care. Motherfucker's a murderer anyway, so it's... Mm. True. Very true. Hmm. What about the Mario XE thing? Like the, you know, All Father and the, the Peach thing? Eh. Same thing as I do with every EXE. Just throw the, throw Holy One on and be like, mm. Nah, I'm bouncing a lot in here. And I'm just hearing them go, eh. Like, like they, like they're fucking, like they're fucking. Um, I can't say rats because you're gonna get sad. But I, I miss, I miss Henry. I know you do. Why don't you get another rat? I don't want another rat. I don't want another pet, dude. Henry, I taught him. You know, when I was a fan of FIFA, I taught Henry how to like. Go through holes and, and cut wires and I don't want to teach another rat that. I mean, not like I'm a thief still, but it's just like I don't want to teach another. Well, I mean, I could, you know, I'm raising a lot of chows. I'm breeding chows again. You want a chow? No, a chow's like having a kid, and you know, me and stocking could literally have I mean we could well you know adoption is not that bad you know child adoption's easy it's weird that when we sit on this couch we're invisible you're invisible when you're here cause no <laughs> So anyways, um, bug me. Last thing. Before we end this and go watch some stupid Mario Bros. Which one's your favorite? Yeah, I'd have to say season one. Season one, two, and maybe three. I kind of didn't like how Waluigi in the later like episodes was just kind of like, Like, just always sleep, and I understand why. But it just, it was just kind of weird. Like, he'd do something, and then come back up, and Plumber Knight, Ness is supposed to be like Superman, and Mario's like Batman in that universe, which I kind of, it's kind of cool. I, I don't know, I don't like it being, like, it's kind of its own alternate universe now because everything changed. But I like it as an like its own alternate universe because it's like I don't know I just don't like the idea of like you know Mario losing Luigi in any universe because it's like oh Luigi is like Luigi and Mario are like hate each other but no no man if 
um, Dream Team taught me anything. It's just Mar like Luigi just wishes he was a little bit more brave like Mario, and he is brave. It just he, you know, he chooses when he has to be brave, when he has to really stack up and help Mario. There ain't nothing wrong with that. He out there, like, he's out there, he's out there giving, he's out there literally with Daisy every other night now. Like, y'all want to call Luigi a loser. But he out, but he is out there. He's out there giving Daisy, giving Daisy his pipe. Always sitting out there because you don't understand. He's getting that. He's getting those daisies out there. Living, living, living free from adventures. Y'all can say he's stupid or he isn't noticed, but he's out here beating. He's out here clubbing Daisy's cheeks. You can say what you want. And actually, Daisy's a freak. Don't ask me how I know that. How do you know that? Don't ask me how I know. How do you... But how do you fucking know that? Just thought... Just... No, bro, bro, I know. Like, how, though? Okay, before she got with Luigi, me and her did some, did some shit, okay? Give her the old, give her the old Daisy. I mean, give her the old uh, chaotic pipe, you know? You know, did some, did some, I was a plumber too, you know what I mean? I, I really, really think that's weird. I just, it took a, I, you know, you know, Silent Hill Land was pretty cool. It's not like that creepy one we saw in that one universe. Well, ew, you mean the one where, the, like, there's like a plant thing sucking on the nutrients that's using Mario as, like, a vessel? It's using Mario like a vessel? Like, all the, uh, one of the Silent Hill games? Mm-hmm. Weird. Yeah. But hey. You wanna go you wanna go sit and watch more Super Mario Bros. and then we get then we um switch over and watch some Chaos Portal stuff? Mm-hmm. Sounds good.